In Activity 5, the streak test, students conduct a streak test to reveal the true color of each specimen. This is done because weathering can distort the color of a mineral surface. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 5, mineral specimens 1 through 10, and magnifiers in storage containers from Activity 4, streak plates, and the rock guide. You will also need to provide newspapers. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5 for each student. Make sure to have the rock guide on hand for reference. Add two streak plates to the magnifiers and mineral specimens already in each storage container. Also, each group of four students will need some newspaper and a storage container of materials. To begin the activity, ask students, based solely on your observations of the specimens, do you think color can be used to identify minerals? Inform the class that weathering is the exposure of rocks and minerals to rain, wind, chemicals in soil, temperature extremes, and so on. Explain that weathering can sometimes change the surface color of a mineral while the true color remains hidden inside. Scientists can determine the true color of a mineral by rubbing it on a piece of unglazed ceramic tile called a streak plate. Guide students to understand that the color of the streak the mineral leaves on a streak plate is the mineral's true color and that every specimen of that mineral will always have the same color. By the end of the discussion, students should understand that determining the true color of a mineral helps identify the mineral. Next, demonstrate how to perform the streak test on one of the mineral specimens. Pick up one of the specimens and drag the specimen across the streak plate. To obtain a good streak, vary the amount of pressure, but be careful not to damage the specimen. Keep in mind that several streaks may be necessary to obtain consistent results. When performing the streak test, Lay the streak plate flat on a table and do not hold the plate in your hand, as the plate may break, causing injury. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 5 to each student and divide the class into groups of four. Have each group cover their work area with newspaper and give a container of materials to each group. Help students predict what color streak each mineral will leave on the streak plate, and then instruct them to record their predictions on the activity sheet. Next, instruct students to test their specimens on the streak plate and to record their observations on the activity sheet. The streak colors of the minerals are as follows. 1 and 3 are colorless, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 10 are white, 7 is gray, and 8 and 9 are greenish black. Tell students to be careful when testing specimens 3 and 10 as the specimens will crumble if pressed on the plate too hard. Initiate a discussion of the student's results by asking, is the streak test useful for identifying specimen 10? Students should understand that the streak test is not useful since its yellow color is more distinctive than its white streak. Ask students, is the streak test a good way to distinguish between specimens 8 and 9 or between specimens 4 and 5? Explain that the streak test is not helpful for either because the specimens in each pair have the same color streaks. Help students understand that many minerals produce the same color when streaked, and explain that scientists often must use the streak test in conjunction with other tests to positively identify a particular mineral. Finally, have students add to their lists of the different applications of rocks and minerals. Encourage the class to think of other applications for which one color mineral might be preferable to another. To conclude the activity, return the streak plates to the kit. Place the magnifiers in their plastic covers and return them, along with the mineral specimens, to the storage containers. Make sure to save the newspaper for use in Activity 6. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.